Hey everybody, it's Deadpool TS, and welcome back to the Deadpool School for Logistics Pipes. Yes, lesson two. Last time we learned about just the basic logistics pipes and the power system. This time, we're going to learn about a couple of more complex pipes. So let's go ahead and get started. So today, we're going to learn about the provider pipe, the crafting pipe, the satellite pipe, the supplier pipe, and then later the bee analyzer and the bee sync logistics pipe. So first of all, here's a little auto crafting setup I have to show off the power of these pipes. The first pipe we're going to look at is the provider pipe. Now the provider pipe is a very simple pipe to make. All you need to do is take one basic logistics pipe and add some glowstone. And what this pipe will do is whatever is in this chest, it can provide to anywhere in the network that wants to request it or need it. And it's a pretty simple pipe. If you want to get items into an inventory that they're going to be requesting, you just put that on and you're done. You can leave it blank and it'll supply everything that's in the chest, or you can actually put items in it so it only supplies those items. Now over here we have a little auto crafting setup. We have our crafting pipe where you can put input the recipe and that's what it will output. And also a satellite pipe, you can really only just change the configs. And for those, Let's see, we got a crafting pipe, which is a basic logistics pipe with two glowstone. Oops. And a satellite pipe, which is a basic logistics pipe with two redstone. Now, all of this is going to be controlled by this pipe here, the satellite pipe. And in here, you can put an item that you want stored, or multiple items that you want stored. And if you put multiples, you can put it as partial request yes or no, that no wait until you can have all these items shipped before shipping them, or no, just ship the items you have when you get them. And they'll all go in this. Now, this is going to be the pipe that's requesting that, and that's going to draw everything out. Now if you don't know how to use an auto crafting system, you pretty much just put a recipe in here and if it's hooked up to pipes with items supplying, and a, usually you need a redstone engine pumping the items out, but the crafting logistics pipe will do it for us and pull it out. Now with this recipe here that you see for this MM, MFFS projector upgrade pipe, it needs four advanced alloys and an iron pick. Now normally the iron pick is not stackable, so you can't stack it in here to do the recipe. You normally put the chest by it and put it in the side, but that's where this satellite pipe comes in handy. It'll automatically grab the item, put it in the chest so you can craft it. See how this is in the satellite? Now if I actually go like this, it's red. It's telling you no, this needs to go into the satellite. So let's go ahead and do it. There's nothing in there. There's a recipe in there. And in here, I have the advanced alloys. Now, as soon as I put this iron pick in, it's going to be like, oh, I have all the items I need to make this. I'm going to go ahead and ship it over here. So let's watch the magic. So bloop. Wait. There they go. And bam, auto crafting. Awesome, hey? Huh? So that's pretty much the basics of these four pipes. I'll show you some more interesting configurations in some more advanced lessons. But for the basics, that's how it's used. You can even eliminate these two and just say, hey, um, you know, I want you to keep, you know, two of these in stock at all times. Now, right now, this chest has none. But if I run over here and just put these in this, it'll automatically supply them to this chest. Basic functionalities. All right, so let's go ahead and take a look at these bees first. Let me make a day, because I like it to be day. Now, now we're gonna look at these two other. This one doesn't really have a GUI. That's the uh, bee analyzer logistics pipe, which recipe calls for four propolis, one iron gear, three redstone surrounded around a basic logistics pipe. And then you have this B sync, which you can set to, you know, princess, queen, purebreds, nocturnal, pure nocturnal, strong flyers, pretty much like an apiary pipe. But we're just going to set it right now to princesses. Only princesses, and let's. Oh, oh yeah, because we have extra bees in here, so. They're... Oh my god. You know what? Just break that. Haha. <laughs> Where'd it go? sync and we're just gonna put that there and we're just gonna set it to princesses now I believe if you don't set the type of bee it's not gonna send it here now the bee 
Analyzer Logistics Pipe will automatically default any bees into it to get analyzed who aren't analyzed. And then they'll pop back out into the network to try to find a place. Now this will automatically, you know, supply bees of this variety. So in this here, I got some items along with some bees. And those chests down there are still set up, so let's go ahead and turn it on and see what happens. I might have to tweak that one bee pipe for it to work, because I did just throw in some random bees here. So they'll automatically go into the bee sink. It'll analyze them. Now here's a good question. What happens to the bees once those are filled up? It might be long enough that by the time that's filled up, this bee will have already been processed. And that could be a problem if you have a very fast system. So this bee's about to be done. So what's going to happen to him? Oh, looks like he popped out because he has nowhere to go. So we're going to come back here and change this to any bees. Oh, oh, see, we got some bees in here now. So I do know if you set these to, let's say you set it to princess, forest, forest. I think that's, oh, I have a draw. Set it to uh, circle any bees drones. Now if I put this drone in here, it should automatically go in there. These other bees won't because they don't have a destination, see? But that bee... He's going to get analyzed, even though... I thought he was analyzed. I guess not. Well, let's take the rest of these out. And you too. So once this bee is analyzed, it should shoot off and go into there. But these bees are already analyzed, as you can see. Hmm. A water drone. I've never seen one of those before. Where are we at with this? Come on, hurry up, you slow bee. But it definitely makes bee an automation a lot easier. You can analyze your bees and have them. You don't have to put them in chests. You could hook these up to apiaries. Yep, right in there. That forest, forest. Went right in there like that. You know, so you do have a lot of options. But unless you put any bees, if you put it as a specific drone or princess, you do have to put what type you want in there. It won't just send all of them, I guess. Or will it? Let's, let me just double check that real quick. Let's go ahead and put princesses. Well, easier just to break the pipe. Or let, let's go ahead and just put drones. Because I think... Yeah, I have a rocky drone that's already be analyzed, so it shouldn't have to go to the analyzer. Let's see what happens. Is he going to fall out of the pipe or is he going to go into the chest? Yep, he went in the chest. Okay, so you don't have to set it. But I guess I just don't have an, any other set. And as you can see, the other items did get sorted into individual chests. Awesome. So those are the bee sinks. Good for setting up, like, you know, automated bees. And that's just glitched, I guess, that there was a bee in there. Alright, awesome. So we went over a couple more advanced pipes at least what they are and how to make them and we'll go over some more crazy builds with these later in the advanced classes as for now this is deadpool ts your faithful teacher and i'll see you next class time bring me